I just want to welcome everyone. Uh, happy Sabbath, everyone. I want to welcome you to uh, New Life as we have this special communion service today as we reflect on the life of Christ and what his, he has done for us. Uh, can I have the praise team come forward to sing uh, the welcome song? Stand to their feet as we sing, smile, everybody smile. We'll go together after two. One, two. Smile, everybody smile. Everybody smile. Everybody smile. Why don't you smile? Everybody smile. Everybody smile. Everybody smile. Let us greet somebody. Let us greet somebody. In Jesus' name, let us tell them that we love them. In Jesus' name, tell them we can work together. In Jesus' name, everybody smile. Jesus loves you. Everybody smile. Jesus cares. Smile. Everybody smile. Everybody smile, everybody smile, why don't you smile, everybody smile, everybody smile, everybody smile, let us greet somebody, let us greet somebody, in Jesus name, let us tell them that we love them, in Jesus name, tell them we can work together, in Jesus name, everybody smile. Jesus loves you, everybody smile, Jesus loves you, amen. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, for our call to worship, I'm going to read from Psalms 96. It says, oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name, show forth his salvation from day to day, declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared ab above all gods, for all the gods of the nations are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O you kindreds of the people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of, of holiness. Fare before him all the earth. Say among the heathen, heathens that the Lord reigneth. The world also sh shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice, and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar, and the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful, and all that is therein, that shall all the trees of the wood rejoice. Before the Lord, for he cometh, for the cometh he, he cometh to judge. The earth he shall judge the world with righteousness, and the people with his truth. The church is now called to worship. Will the praise team come forward? All right, it is that time that we look forward to, at least I look forward to it every Sabbath, where we get to sing and give the Lord some well-deserved praise. Amen, church. Today is communion, a beautiful, beautiful Sabbath, and so we will tune our voices to some hymns that perfectly match the occasion and uh, also taking some lessons from the sabbath school this morning as we pray and we are in our waiting season for a musician i pray that we will all use 
The resources that the Lord has blessed us with are beautiful voices. I love this church family because when we come together and we put our voices all together, it is really, really a huge praise up in here. And so I invite you all to sing along with us. Let's really hear those voices as our first hymn is the old rugged cross that is hymn 159 in our hymnals hymn 159 the old rugged cross let's go together on a hill far away stood an old rugged cross the emblem of suffering and shame and the love the cross where the dead rest and blessed for a world of lost sinners was slain so I cherish so I cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last are laid down I will cling, I will cling to the old rugged cross And it's changed and it's strange it's someday for a crown. Oh, that old rugged cross, so despised, so despised by the world, has a wondrous attraction for me. For the dare, for the dare, Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it to die Calvary. So I cherish, so I cherish the old rugged cross. My trophies at last I lay down. I will cling, I will cling to the old rugged cross. And it's changed, it's someday for a that old rugged cross to that old rugged cross I will ever be true yes it's shame and reproach gladly bear then he'll call who then he'll call me someday amen to my home far away where his glory forever I'll share so I cherish so I cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies Till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling, I will cling to the old rugged cross And exchange, and exchange it someday for a crown we'll go one more time so i cherish so i'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at 
Last I'm laying down I will cling I will cling To the old rugged cross And exchange it for what? And exchange it someday For a crown Amen, amen and with this, we'll go into our second song, Blessed Assurance. He is whose church? Jesus is mine. Amen. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. That is hymn number 462. All right, we will go together. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is, this is my story. This is my soul. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is, this is my story. This is my soul. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission. Perfect submission. Perfect delight. Visions of rapture, the best on my side. Angels descending, bringing from above. Echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission. All is at rest. I am my Savior. I am my Savior. And happy and blessed. Watching and waiting. Looking about. Filled with His goodness. Lost in His love. For this is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. One more time. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior amen amen our next hymn is how great thou art that is hymn 86 in our hymnal and it is auntie winsome's song let us sing it together let us sing it strong after two one two oh lord my god when I in awesome wonder Consider all Thy works thy hands have made I 
see the stars. I hear, I hear the mighty thunder. Thy power throughout where the universe displayed. Then sings, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great, how great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. When through the woods and forest glades I wander. And hear, and hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees. When I look down from lofty mountain grandeur, and hear the brook, and feel the gentle breeze, then sing. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art, and when, and when I think that God his son not sparing sent him to, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. Then on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great! How great thou art, how great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art, last verse. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation, amen, and take me home, what joy, what joy shall fill my soul, mm -hmm. then I shall bow in, in humble adoration and there proclaim and there proclaim my god my god how great thou art then sings then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our final song just before prayer will be 
I serve a risen Savior. Do we sleep? Do, do we serve a Savior that is still, still dead? No. He is a risen Savior. And he is where? He is in the world today. So we'll tune our voices to him. Two, five, one. That is, he lives. And we'll go together. I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. I know. I know that he is living. Whatever man may say, I see his hands of mercy. I hear his voice of cheer. And just the time I need him, he's always there. He lives, he lives, yes, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks, he walks with me, and he talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, yes, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Let me hear all the ladies on the second verse. The world around me, I see his love. And though my heart, and though my heart grows weary, I never will despair. I know that he is leading through all life's stormy blast. The day, the day of his appearing will come at all together now. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and he talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Let's hear the brothers. Rejoice, rejoice, O oh Christian. Amen. Lift up your voice and sing. Eternal hallelujahs to Jesus Christ the, the King, hope all. the hope of all who seek Amen. It, to help of who, who none find other is so none other is so loving, so good, so good so and all kind. together now. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and he talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. Where does he live? He lives within my heart. Hallelujah. All right, as we prepare for prayer, we will sing, I surrender all that is him. 309. I surrender all. We'll sing it prayerfully and then we will get into the prayer. Let's go. All 
to Jesus, I surrender all to him I freely give. I will ever, I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily live I surrender I surrender all I surrender all all to thee my blessed Savior I surrender all, all to Jesus, all to Jesus, I surrender humbly at his feet I bow, worldly pleasures all forsaken take me jesus take me now i surrender all i surrender all all to thee my blessed savior i surrender all all to jesus all to jesus i surrender make me holy thine holy thine Fill me with thy love and power. Truly know that thou art mine. I surrender all. I surrender. I surrender all, final verse, all to Jesus, I surrender, now I feel the sacred flame, oh, the joy of full salvation glory glory to his name i surrender all i surrender all all to Blessed Savior, I surrender all. One more time, a little prayerfully. I surrender all. I surrender all. All to Savior, I surrender all. Amen.
If it is possible, please join me in kneeling uh, as we enter prayer. Our loving Father and our God, we thank you for uh, this day. We thank you for your son. We thank you for his sacrifice, Father. We thank you for the things that he continues to do for us uh, in, in the in heaven, in the whole, most holy place, Father. Father, I want to, um, especially today when we are reflecting on his sacrifice, we're f f reflecting on the body and blood that he shed for us and that he has reminded us to do as often as we gather together that we must do this, that we must reflect on him and his sacrifice. Father, thank you for the, the, his love and thank you for the mercy that he continues to provide for us. Father, I want to also uh, pray for those in the congregation, those who are suffering from sickness and who are recovering. I want to remember our elder, uh, Michael Joseph. I pray that he will continue to recover and uh, he'll be uh, among us uh, very soon, Father. I pray for uh, others that are going through uh, any of the difficulties, financial, family, whatever issue they're, they're, they're dealing with it. I pray that they will bring these issues to you, Father, because you, you are truly our only hope. In, in this world of, of chaos and confusion, sometimes we, we try to go our own way, but Father, you are our only hope. You are our, 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 our everything, Father. And uh, Father, help us to surrender, as with the song we just sang, that we will surrender each and everything to you. This is my prayer in Christ's name. Amen. everyone, it's Aunt Fernita. Today's story is called Into the Clouds and Back Again. The memory verse is from Acts chapter 1 verse 11. It says, This same Jesus will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. The message is, I want to be with Jesus when he comes back for me. Have you ever gone to an airport? Have you ever seen a plane take off? Did you see it grow smaller and smaller until it disappeared? Something like that happens in our story. After Jesus was crucified and came back to life again, he spent 40 days with his disciples. During that time, he encouraged them. He helped them believe that he really was alive again. And he prepared them for the work they were to do. On his last day on earth, Jesus and his disciples visited together on one of their favorite spots, the Mount of Olives. From there, they could look down on the city of Jerusalem. The beautiful marble temple gleamed in the sun. Only Jesus knew he would be leaving soon. The disciples had just asked him if he would overthrow the ruling king. Would he take his place on the king's throne? They still didn't understand. Jesus wasn't going to be an earthly king. He would be the king of their lives. Gently, Jesus told them that the Holy Spirit would be with them. They were to take his message to all the world. Everyone must know about his death and resurrection. After he said this, Jesus began to rise slowly into the air, past the treetops, straight up into the sky. The disciples must have wondered what was happening. Maybe they watched with their mouths hanging open. Silently, he disappeared into the clouds. They strained their eyes as Jesus disappeared from their sight. As they stood staring into the sky, two men in white robes joined them. These two angels had stayed behind to help the surprised disciples understand what had just happened. 
The angel spoke, Why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. The disciples began immediately to spread the good news about Jesus all over the world. Their work was the beginning of Christianity, a new religion based on three special beliefs. Number one, Jesus, God's Son, is alive. Number two, Jesus came to live on earth and die for us, showing us that God loves us. Number three, Jesus is coming back to earth to take us to live with him in heaven. The disciples missed Jesus. They wanted him to come back. How about you? Do you want Jesus to come again? Do you want to be with Jesus forever? He will help you to get ready. Just ask him. Thank you, little ones. Children are such a blessing from, from the Lord. It's, it's a blessing to have children among us. Can the, the three points before we go into the offertory, the three points from the less, the, the three points, what were they again? Number one, Jesus is alive. Number two, he, he died for us, and that is, shows us that God loves us. Number three, he's coming back again. Hallelujah. One of the things, uh, I just want to read from Malachi uh, 3.10. It says, bring all the tithes, will the deacon now come forward? Bring all, ye, all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now where within, saying, the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. God promises things to us all the time, but he fulfills his promise. He is a God that is from the beginning. We just heard in the, the story today that his son came, his son died, and his son is in heaven waiting for us. And as a gift, as he, God doesn't need anything from us. But as a, a gesture of love back to him, he asked us to return our tithes. He asked us to return our uh, offerings as uh, an act of love to him and to the church. Because the mission is important. The mission that God has in store for, for the world is important. The mission that God has in store for you is important. And he wants us to, to surrender. As we sang earlier today, that I surrender all. Can we hold on to things? And things are nothing. You can lose everything you have in an instant. But what God wants for us is to have that relationship with him. And as we have that, we have that connection with him. We are easily able to give all to him. And so I, I, I ask that we remember that today as we go into our communion service today, that we remember that we need to sacrifice um, all for him as he has done for us. Uh, well, you can come forward as we offer a word of prayer. Gracious and loving Father, we thank you for um, those that have given today and who have not as well, that you will continue to bless them. And I pray that you will touch their hearts. I pray for conversion for each and every one of us, that we will grow, grow, grow closer to you and that we have a desire to serve you in, in, in every aspect of our life. Father, I pray for surrender uh, for me and for each one of us, that we will surrender our will to you. As Paul says, that he dies daily, um, died to the, died to the world and, and look to the cross. Father, I pray this for each and every one of us. And bless the, um, those, the, the funds that were donated today or given as offerings. I pray that they will be blessed and they will multiply as um, the word in Malachi 3.10 says that there will be, the storehouse will be full. 
I pray this for this church today. It's my prayer in Christ's name. Amen. Our scripture reading today comes from 1 John uh, verse, verse 7. And it says, 1 John verse 7, re reading from the King James Version, But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. Let's want to read it again. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Our speaker today is none other than our first elder, Elder Paul Bernard. He will be blessing us with a, a special uh, message today about fellowship and, and oneness together. Um, but before he begins, before he preaches, we have a special music by our sister, Shannon Allen. All right, this song of meditation will be a song that we can all do together. <laughs> it is nothing but the blood of Jesus. And we can sing it together or I, well, I will lead. <laughs> all right. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow, no. Other founts I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my cleansing, this I see, nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my cleansing, there's my plead, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow, no other Founts I know nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing can for sin atone. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Not for good that I have done. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my hope and peace. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. 
nothing but the blood of Jesus. Now by this I'll overcome. Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Now by this I'll reach my home. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. Happy Sabbath, brothers and sisters. The song just said, Nothing but the blood of Jesus. But just before we go into the, the service that Jesus did many years ago, I'm just here to remind us of the relevance of the service. How important this service is, not only to us, but to Jesus. And if it's important to Jesus, it has to be important to us. And if we are slighting it, we need to ask the Lord to help us to see the importance and the relevance of the service. I know when I was growing up, I used to slight communion, especially the foot washing part. So I'm not going to stand here and behave as if it was always embracing to me. But as I grew up understanding more what it meant to Jesus, then I realized that I need to take on that same approach and the meaning that it has to Jesus. Not to us so much, but to Jesus. The story is told, and I'll be done in five minutes, don't worry. The story is told when Jesus in John... John chapter 13, when Jesus was going to, you know, John 13 talks about when the hour did come for the Lord to leave, right? And what would have happened? And while they were having their feast, Jesus himself did what he was to do. Get the cloth, put water in the basin, starting washing his disciples' feet. When he got to John, to Peter, Peter said, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh you're not going to wash my feet. And Jesus said to him, if you do not allow me to wash your feet, you are not going to have any part with me. Jesus, Peter said, well, Jesus, if that is the case, not only my feet, but all of me. The relevance of the communion service is a time when, as God's people, we can come together to thank God for his son, Jesus Christ, who died on Calvary's cross. And I know I, we, we have chosen, I've chosen 1 John 1, 7, and this verse... As a family, we meet together, Winsome and I and Joel, and we, every morning there is a particular verse from the scripture that we use as our guide for the day. 
This one came up this week. And I think this was on Monday or Tuesday. And this text has never left me from that day. And when I muse over the text and I think of it, I said, my word, where is Paul Bernard in all of this text? And I've grown to understand and realize that when I am studying the word of God or reading the word of God, I must begin to apply it to me. Because if I'm not applying it to me, then it's not going to make sense when I'm relating to other people. And 1 John 1, 7 says, But if we really walk in the light, that is, live each day, every day, in conformity with the precepts of God, as he himself is in the light, we have true unbroken fellowship with one another. He with us and we with him and nothing but the blood and the blood of Jesus his son cleanses us from all sin by erasing the stain of sin keeping us cleansed from sin in all its forms and manifestations. When I read this text, I really, really see how much God loves me. And he will go to the farthest as far is to ensure that I I'm at that place where I can be welcoming before God. The text says, the Son cleanses us from all sin by erasing the stain of sin. We know when we go to school sometimes and we do a little mistake and we get the rubber and we write with the pencil and we do what? erase, rub out the mistake. And then over that same spot that we made the mistake, we would have rewritten something that makes sense. Jesus is saying, the sin that is in me, when he erases it, he's going to replace it with himself. What other life should we want to live than a life that we know, however sinful I am, Jesus is willing to erase every manifestation of that sin. So Sister Melina, you can't be too far gone that you can't be rescued by Jesus. Those listening online, you can't be too far gone that you cannot be rescued by Jesus. So in that case, how significant is the communion service? Not before us, but before Jesus. Forget about us. Let's forget about us, because everything we should be doing should really be pointing to whom? So how significant is this communion service to Jesus? He is the one that we should be really paying attention to. So when I slight the service, I'm really telling Jesus, I'm not really appreciating what you have done. And I'm not saying this in a way for us to feel any way or behave as if I'm self-righteous. I just want us to see, brethren, how significant the service is to Jesus. Jesus said, as often as we do this, it's in remembrance of him. The spitting in the face, the slapping in the face, the humiliation, the hanging on the cross, it's in remembrance of him. So 
So it's not only the death, but all that he went through up to the point of death is in remembrance of him. So when I take that bread, I'm remembering what Jesus did. When I take that wine, I'm remembering what Jesus did. And then it brings comfort and joy to me now to know that he will cleanse me from all my sin, erasing every stain, keeping me clean from sin and all its forms and manifestations. So whatever type of sin you think you are in or you possess, Jesus is saying he has the power to remove the smallest to the largest. So this morning as we partake in this service, let us remember that communion service, it's not an obligation. So we don't have to come with our face long and such a, why should I? No, church. This service is a service of celebration. So the long face shouldn't really be coming. It's been happy to know that my sins are forgiven. It is happy to know that I now have the right to the tree of life. It is happy to know that I will be clothed in the righteousness of Christ. It is happy to know that when I sin against him, he, God, says, when I confess those sins, he is faithful and just to forgive me and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. So when we come to the communion service, don't stay away from it. We should be, we, what happens is that we should be having persons coming in and out because of how full the place is. Because of the celebration that comes with it. So even if we used to have that kind of approach, let's change the approach and ask ourselves the question, how significant is this service to Jesus? Not to us. Because when we begin to see the significance of it to Jesus, our approach will be different. So let's not slight it. Yes, I used to slight it too. I used to, especially the foot washing part, because of what comes with the foot washing part. And I don't have to go there because if the foot smells a little too bad, no, it's not going to happen. So I used to choose the person's feet I wash. This is not what Jesus did, but that's what I did because I want the clean foot and that kind of thing. Those are no, no, no church. We've got to begin to see the relevance of the service. Based on what Jesus did. So, Sister Shannon, we're going to sing that song again, you know. As a church, it's that what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me pure within? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Leviticus says what? The life is in the blood. Huh? The life of the flesh is in the blood. It's no coincidence that Jesus died by spilling his blood. The life of the flesh is in the blood. When you go to the hospital and they tell you, you need blood transfusion and you need this, without the blood in our bodies, we can't get the oxygen to live. The blood very significant. And Jesus made it available, his blood, so that we can be made whole again. What is the significance of the communion service to Jesus? Not so much us, but to him. Sister Shannon and the church will now sing, What Can Wash Away My Sin? After the end of the song, not the second verse, we will separate to have our feet washed. 
not selectively now, but as the Lord would have bid us, then we would return to partake in the wine and the bread. Shall we all sing, what shall wash away my sin? Oh, in my sin, nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious. Oh, precious is, is the flow that makes, that makes me white as snow. No other facts I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my cleansing, yes, I see nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my cleansing, there's my plea, nothing 